Well, this is the carbon cycle. As you can see, that's, uh, that's our carbon cycle. That's the Australian Forest Products Association's carbon cycle. It's our whimsical attempt at drawing attention to the fact that uh, timber, wood products, store carbon. Whimsical, as I say, but I'm using it today to do something very important indeed. I've ridden over here to the headquarters of the CSIRO. This is Australia's premier research organisation. The reason we're here is to try to dissuade them from cutting all of the forest scientific research capability out of this organisation. Now, we understand full well that the CSIRO is facing some very, very difficult budgetary challenges. We understand that they're going to make some difficult staff changes. But what we're saying is that the forest science area at CSIRO has already borne its fair share of that burden. There were about 300 people working in forest science in this place a couple of decades ago. A decade ago, it was still at about 175. Right now, there's only about 33 scientists working in this area. And if CSIRO goes ahead with the plan changes, as are rumoured, well, it'll be a very black day for Australia. We will be effectively abandoning this area of research just at a time when the globe realises that that's exactly where we need to put the money. All over the world, our competitor nations are taking those steps. Uh, Canada, Finland, New Zealand, Chile, China, they're all backing forest science because they know that in a, in a carbon constrained global economy where renewable, recyclable resources will be at a premium, timber and all the things we get from forests is going to be where the action is. I mean, look at this. This is a, this is nano crystalline cellulose. This is a water bottle that looks and feels and acts just like plastic. It's made from a tree. This comes from Canada, this one. Biomaterials, bioplastics, biofuels, making trees grow more efficiently, faster, driving productivity from our landscapes, looking after the natural wonders that we can enjoy as a community and also deriving benefit from as communities. That's the sort of thing that we want to see Australia participate in, not just the rest of the world. Did you know that there's going to be more construction in the next 40 years than has taken place in human history until this time? You think about that. Think about a global population growing, as the UN says, to about nine and a half billion by 2050. Where are we going to be without timber? They, they often say that steel was the building material of the 19th century. Concrete was the building material of the 20th century, but timber is yet again going to be the construction material of the 21st century for all of those renewable reasons that I've talked about. So I hope you'll back this campaign. We really want CSIRO to rethink this issue, to rethink the need for forest science to have a base in Australia into the 21st century.